Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, we are just gonna be going through a little craft DIY to-do list. Um, some things that I've been meaning to get done for forever and I just have not gotten around to. So hopefully you've got a couple items like that in your life that you need to get done and we can do this along together. All right, unfortunately, I forgot to get a video of this piece um, before. So I'm just gonna try and match it back up but basically i had bought this piece of lingerie from the thrift store um it's like a 2xl i think i'll double check but anyways it fits me around and i really love how like here down fits of this but i hated the cups the cups were way too small i was falling out of them so i decided the whole corset bustier harness thing is in so I just cut the cups off. Now you can see it a lot more clear. And I haven't tried it on since cutting the cups off, but I think I'm really going to love it. And it still has the beautiful flowy detail. So let's try that on. Just like I suspected, I love how this turns out. It really gives me like Maddie Drawsbeck vibes. If you watch her, then you know. All right, so this next project that I'm working on is an old notebook that I really loved the cover of, but I was just never using this notebook. So I decided to make it into one of those secret um, hiding spot boxes. You can see me just mod podging all of the edges of the pages together, and I clamped those down overnight to dry. Then I went in with an X-Acto knife once it was all one piece, and I started cutting out the little center section, so you'll see me do that in a minute. That did take quite some time, but if you just put on a YouTube video or a show in the background, it really flies by. I was able to get probably three or four pieces of paper at a time, um, so I just had to work my way through the entire notebook. And after I was done with this, I then mod podged the inside of the notebook as well, so there weren't any stray pieces of paper fly in. After I mod podged it, I thought it still looked a little unfinished, so I decided to give a one coat of paint. All right, so this is the finished book, and I think it turned out okay. I mean, obviously you can tell it's definitely handmade, but hopefully no one is opening it. They just see it and think it looks like a super cute book. The next thing on this uh, to-do list, if you will, is I thrifted this corset, but I need the cord to be a little bit longer. So I got some of this cord and hopefully there's enough. I'm going to just take it out and see how long I need it. And hopefully it won't be too hard to replace that. So here I am just unthreading and re-threading the cords. And there's actually two, one from each side and then they meet in the middle. And so that is what I'm doing right now. I'm working on the bottom side and then now I'm pulling out the top threads and putting those in. I also did take a lighter and burn the edges of these threads just because they didn't have like an aglet on them or anything. I just finished lacing it all up and you can clearly tell that these are two different thicknesses. Um, but the only other option I would have is the same thickness but brown. And I think that would look even worse. So I'm just going to keep it like this and try it on. And hopefully it's not too noticeable when I'm wearing it. All right. The next little project we're going to work on is just my name tag from work. It um, got unstuck. So I just need to glue the magnet back on there. Willie. So I'm using a mixture of hot glue and E6000 glue. That way the hot glue will get it to kind of stick right away and then hopefully the E6000 will be a little more permanent. Then I'm clamping it down and just leaving it to set overnight and hopefully that'll fix it all. All right, so I let this sit for 24 hours and now it's all good. So the next to-do list item is just going to be taking a couple pieces of old jewelry apart. Uh, like I want to hold on to this. I want to hold on to all these beads and reuse them. 
want to hold on to these rocks so but i'm not wearing the jewelry as it is so we're just gonna be taking the pieces apart and then putting them aside to use in a craft later on so while i am just working on taking this jewelry apart i wanted to quickly go back to the corset top that i made and just acknowledge how frustrating it was um, after spending all that time re-stringing it and realizing that the strings were different thicknesses um, but that's just something that happens with diy and crafting and you know don't let yourself get bogged down by it just keep on going it's super normal to get frustrated in the middle of projects like this all right so now i've got all these individual charms i got an empty charm bracelet these individual rocks necklace another necklace so that is super exciting and i'll definitely be doing some crafts with that in the future all right and the last thing that i'm going to be checking off my to-do list today is just sorting these beads i bought a big pack of these pastel pony beads and i wanted to sort them into the individual colors so that's just what i'm doing here it was pretty tedious but i'm definitely glad that i got that done and i can check it off I just finished organizing all of these pony beads and that is the end of this to-do list video so comment down below if you were able to accomplish anything alongside me and please like and subscribe and look forward to my next video coming out thank you so much for watching